ideal editorial workflow. The editorial department would be completely finished with all of their copy. Everything would be written and edited and copy edited and signed off on and then delivered to you with a guarantee that not a single character will be changed at any point before this publication goes to press. And then you could take that document and with confidence pour it into InDesign and lay it out and set all the styling that needs to be done that wasn't done in Word and be done with it and know that nobody's going to come along after you and make a change that wrecks your whole page. That's an ideal world. In reality, that's not always the case. In reality, we sometimes have to lay out documents that are still being edited, in which case we wind up doing a dance. You place the not quite ready for prime time version in InDesign. You get your page geometry set up, you tweak a few things here and there, you adjust the styles. At some point in the future, editorial will come back to you with a new version. Say, here's the new version of the Word file. Put it into InDesign. And you do that. And you begin the dance all over again. You just do this in cycles. And sometimes you have to do multiple rounds of this. There is a way to reduce the burden of that if your Word documents or your editor's Word documents are styled with the majority of paragraph and character styles in place, or at least paragraph styles, at least the same style names. If you can get that happening, then there's a way to make things a lot easier on yourself. It begins by going to the InDesign preferences, which on a Mac is on the InDesign CC menu, and on Windows is on the bottom of the edit menu, and then going to file handling. Then you turn on create links when placing text in spreadsheet files and hit OK. Now, when you place a Word document, file, place, grab my Word document here, drop it in primary text frame, give it a moment because it's going to auto flow and add my pages. Now that that's in there, I can go to the links panel and see that the doc is linked just like an image. This is not embedded content as it normally would be when placing a Word document in an InDesign file. Instead, this is linked. So if I click Edit Original or, uh, more commonly, if my editorial counterpart continues working on the document, like maybe we'll just delete that whole paragraph. And we'll turn that orange. Save the document. Then go back to InDesign. You can see it's now telling me edits have been made in the imported version of this document. Would you like to update? And it's going to re-import it. It's going to update the link. And you can see the changes happened right there. Just like with an image, if you take a JPEG that's placed in InDesign and you go and edit it in Photoshop, or you edit an AI file in Illustrator, when you come back to InDesign, it's going to say the link's out of date. Do you want to update the link? In which case, all the changes to the images appear on the page. Well, here, editing the linked Word document makes the changes appear in InDesign. Now, notice when I open up the Paragraph Styles panel here, this Word document has styles in it. We've got the slug style. We've got H1 and H2 and H3s. So now those styles get brought into InDesign. So I don't have to really do anything as a layout artist on this at this point. I can make changes to the styles. Let's say basic character formats. Instead of words default of Arial, we'll go Baskerville. And we'll make that super big and then we will change the character color to orange and hit OK. Now that style set all that matters is the style name. So if we go back into Word and start making changes just delete this whole paragraph there save it go back to InDesign's out of date. Do we want to update? Yes let's refresh the link It's refreshed. See the paragraph disappeared at the top. 
but the style didn't change. As long as the word styles have the same name as the InDesign styles, they won't change. So you can alter those style definitions. Character, paragraph, table, cell. And as long as those style names haven't changed, the new content will come in and include your styles. So consider linking to Word documents when you know that the Word documents will continue to be edited, when you know that somebody's going to come along and make a change that may affect your layout. Save yourself some time and consider linking to those Word documents. 